what is up and welcome back to another video and today i'm gonna bring y'all something new because as you can see i do need a retwist really bad you see all that new growth i've been putting it to the side for like a long time now i'm gonna go ahead get out of the way i hate retwisting my hair it takes forever i need to find a loctician to do my hair but until then i'm gonna have to keep doing it by myself but as y'all boys can see we have a lot a lot a lot a lot of new growth so I'm gonna go ahead, show the whole entire process, me washing it, the grueling, agonizing pain of me having to sit there and twist. Well, I got like 180, 160. I don't even know how many dreads I got, but me going through and just doing that to every single dread. But let's go ahead, stop talking. Go ahead, get this over with. Oh, it's about to take like two hours, but I just got off of school. Today's a half day. We got off at 12.50 today. So I just thought, let me go ahead, get it over with. I'm not gonna wait till the weekend because I know when the weekend comes, I'm not gonna do it. But let's just go ahead and get this wee twist out the way. I'm gonna show y'all. And for y'all, I'm gonna do like a Q&A also, like when I'm retwisting a little bit. I'm gonna answer a few questions, get out some advice. If you do have dreads, you want some advice, I'm just gonna get out some advice. And hold on. Also, look, I got baby dreads on the side because I'm growing out my taper. Because as y'all know, I have a high top. And I started off with a high top. I had my dreads for about two years now. And I started off with a high top. I sponged it at first, used a little sponge brush at first. And you know, I got a retwist and now they're like this. I hate how skinny they are. Really, I want my dress to be thicker. I gotta find me a loctician so she can do my dreads, two strand twist them. I'm gonna keep them up in there like that so they can be like thicker. I don't like how thin my, see, look at that right there. But yeah, this is what you call a Congo. It's like two dreads connected at the root, but like at the ends, they like separated. But geez, that's super thin. But let's go ahead, get this retwist started. Okay, so like here's a more detailed look of my hair. As you can see, I have like a, I don't even know if you call that a taper or not, but it's like a little tapered line to protect my hairline. Cause if you have dreads, you know that they be like pulling on your scalp every time you get a retwist, but don't mind the acne, man. Got a little bit of acne coming up, but yeah, I got a little taper right there. And then see all that new growth right there? That is like really long. But let me show y'all the products I got right here. I really don't be taking care of my hair like that. I know I should take care of it more. I just got these products at my mom's bathroom, but she has this, this right here, exfoliating shampoo. I can use like some exfoliating, what is it? Detangling shampoo. I can use that, I think I can, cause like my hair is already locked, so it doesn't really matter if I use detangling because it's already tangled. But if you do have starter locks, do not use, do not use detangling nothing, not, nothing like that because it is going to um, undo your hair. And then I have this right here. This is, it is almond and avocado moisturizing detangling conditioner. Also, I don't know, but when I started my locks, I had little free forms. I didn't use conditioner, I used shampoo, but that's up to y'all. Y'all gotta figure that out. My hair is locked. And my hair is really light and it doesn't have all that product as you can see it's like really healthy unlike other people's dreads they be have like all that white product and stuff i do need to detox my hair though because like i know it probably stinks but yes i do need to detox it i haven't i never detoxed it but i'm gonna go ahead and start this okay so look i'm about to wash my hair right now i'm gonna grab this shampoo right here rinse that out and then throw the conditioner up in there and then wash wait is this leave-in or what uh See, look, this is why I need a electrician. I don't know all this. I just be washing my hair. I don't even be washing my hair like that. But, um, shit, I guess we washing it out today. I'm not gonna do all that, but I'm gonna go, oh my gosh. Okay, so I just finished washing my hair. Here it is right here. You can see my hairline a little bit better. See what I was talking about, like a little bit of a taper. I might go back, push it back a little bit more. But here it is right here. Dang, you can really see all that. Look, look at all that. Hold on, let me get it from her. Ding, look at all that new growth right there. Man, my dress about to be long. So 
100. Uh, so wet, bro. This is freezing, but here's how long they are right now. I'm gonna go ahead and go in the bathroom and show y'all so I can get that good lighting. Okay, so I just finished retwisting my hair. I mean, I wish. I just finished washing my hair. Here it is right here. You can see they are very long. Here come the cheap key memes, but they're super long. They go down. Look, they're almost like touching, almost. Barely touching my shoulders. Mm, I'd probably say they're like up to my chin. Most of them are like to my chin. And then like there's a few ones that are just like a little bit longer, not rest. But, yeah. Oh gosh, it's cold. Okay, so look, you can see my hairline. See, like a little bit of a taper. Ooh, but yeah, got a little bit of taper right there. See that? I just got my hair cut like a few days ago. It's like fading away a little bit, but yeah. Oh, let's go ahead and start this process of re-twisting my hair. This is about to, I'm about to grab my laptop and then I'm gonna just go ahead and set the laptop up, put on some video, YouTube videos so I can watch how I'm doing my hair. And I'm gonna probably record like some clips of it. I'm not gonna record everything cause it is gonna be like two hours. But let me go ahead and start. I'm gonna show y'all the product that I use. I just need to get it out first, but I like the way my dreads look when, well, I like the way they look right now, but when they dry, I don't really like them. But right now they look really hard. See, look, they look so perfect when they're wet. But when they dry, they look weird. But see, look how good they look. I just trim my ends, cause my ends, you see like they're like really slim. Like this one right here, it's like super duper skinny. So I will be using this product right here. It is called Lock It Up. I used to use this, but I don't use that no more. So let's go ahead and boop, that in the trash can. But yes, you're gonna need that. Some hair clips and you're gonna need some strong arms. I mean, you can use rubber bands, but like that's optional because I'm not gonna do all that two strand twisting and stuff. Two rubber bands is like if you wanna like um, twist two dreads up and then keep them together, but I'm not gonna do none of that. This is OD. I'm trying to get it over with, to be honest. But let me go grab my laptop and set this camera up right here. Probably just, I think at the time of recording this video, we are at 1,185 subscribers. So thank you you to all 1,800, wait, 1,185 of y'all that subscribe. And if you have already, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate that. Road to 2K. Look, it is November. By December, by the end of December, I want 10K. I'll make sure that happens. I'm gonna be uploading reels. I'm gonna be uploading shorts, YouTube shorts. I'll be posting like every day. If not, I might miss like a few days here and there, but Mainly, I'm gonna be posting every single day. I posted every single day for like the last week. The only week, the only day I missed was Thanksgiving and that's like, you know, spend time with your family. And I know a lot of y'all probably not gonna be on YouTube that day, so I didn't post. But other than that, if it's a, if it's a holiday, I'm gonna keep posting. But if it is a holiday, I'm not gonna post on that day. But So look, I'm almost done. See all that new growth right there? I got most of my hair, I just had a little section right here to finish. Yeah, though. There's the back right there. But I'm gonna finish this, and then I just gotta send underneath the dryer, and I'll be done. But see all that new growth right there? And, dang, look, they're on all my shoulders now. Okay, so look, I just got from underneath the dryer, and here is the results right here. I was on the dryer for like 30 minutes. I think that should be good enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the clips out. All right, so look, here's the end result right here. Gosh, I hate doing my hair. Look at my scalp. It's like showing. But yes, this is Amazon right here. And the clean, not too bad. This is a product right there. That's normal. It'll go away eventually. Like the white product, because that's what I use for my hair. So of course it's gonna dry up. 
you'll be able to see it, but I know I like the results. My hair is nice. It'll look a little bit better, like give it two or three days and it'll get a little bit better. Cause right now it's like really stiff, really super, super duper stiff. But I say just give it a few days and then it'll look really good. Give it like a week, you know, look really good. So I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. If you, not, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. I don't good stuff. I just wanna come in here and show y'all my little me recruits to my hair. Just in case any of y'all got dreads out there and y'all like want to see how I do my hair. But I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace.